A man who avoids his pain is enslaved by it. Like, think about that. Your Men's work is in the pain. That inner bitch is in your pain. That inner bitch is created from your pain as a man. The way that you talk to yourself and the relationship you have with yourself are the most important conversations and relationships you will ever have in your entire life as a man. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast, and today is a very special episode. This episode is for for my bitches. Yes, for the bitches, for the bitch in you as a man. We're going to talk about that inner bitch, how to spot it, how to have awareness of it, and then ultimately how to kill it, how to kill your inner bitch as a man. And that's really what this show is about. If you watch, this is now episode 50-something that we're on here Every episode goes into, in some way, killing, controlling, taming, weaponizing, monetizing that inner bitch. That's what this show is about. It's a show about how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so that you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. That's what this is really all about, learning how to weaponize everything, including that inner bitch acidness of yours, how to weaponize those failures, those losses, the obstacles, the inner bitch. This is what we're talking about. I don't know the, a lot of quotes you, you read and you're like, I'm constantly reading. If you look over to the side here, I don't think you can see it much in the video, but there's a, a massive kind of personal development leadership library over here. And you read and you, you Things stick in your brain. I don't remember where it came from, but the quote I want to start this episode off with is, a man who avoids his pain is enslaved by it. Like, think about that. Your, men's work is in the pain. That inner bitch is in your pain. That inner just bitch is created from your pain as a man. And what it does, it starts making us, we, we talked about in previous episodes about what makes a freak father, about oozing manhood, about what, what the role of man even is like that's what i said all these episodes are intertwined you need to make sure you're going through the entire catalog again 50 something episodes every single week we haven't missed a week in over a year and you're getting a education here like you will get more out of watching these episodes than you would in, in a in a college education and this inner bitch that we're talking about this inner demon the darkness your your dark passenger if you watched the show dexter the dark passenger the the shadow, as Carl, Carl Jung calls it, is what ultimately causes men to waste time. And we talked about oozing manhood a few episodes back. That's exactly what the, the inner bitch calls you to do is to waste time. You blame others. You, you complain about stupid shit. And you lose that flame. It's the inner voice, that inner critic in you that tells you you're not good enough. You don't have what it takes. You're not worthy. It's the freaking inner critic. The, and listen, the, the way you talk to yourself, I want you to listen to this deeply. The way you talk to yourself and the relationship you have with yourself is the single most important communications and conversations and relationships that you will ever have in your life as a man. I want to repeat that. The way that you talk to yourself and the relationship you have with yourself are the most important conversations and relationships you will ever have in your entire life as a man. And and we talk so much shit to ourselves as men and it eats us up inside and we waste so much time and energy criticizing, forget about criticizing other people. Yeah, that's a waste of your time and energy too, like the haters on the freaking internet. What a waste of time and energy. But then even 10 times more than that, we criticize ourselves and this is this, we create this impenetrable wall of just self fear and doubt and procrastination and criticism. And it's just going to make cause so much confusion and lack of clarity in who you are and what your purpose is as a man, giving you such self worth, 
low self-worth and just talking shit about yourself. Like how fucking harsh is that, that we will bury ourselves? We'll talk more shit about ourselves than we do other people. Not out loud usually, but in your own little freaking head. And that's where this, all this shit starts. You are held prisoner. You're held prisoner and stuck in place by this inner critic, by this little inner bitch, the demon, the darkness, however you want to call it, the shadow, however you want to word it. I like to just say it's, it's your inner bitch. It's that little inner bitch boy that creeps up and tries to drag you down. And this, this blocks off all your self-awareness. It blocks off all the aspects of emotional intelligence. Any kind of self-compassion you have for yourself where you can give yourself a little bit of a break, gone. Conf- self-confidence destroyed, non-existent. No motivation or fire lit under your ass. Total lack of creativity. Fear of, of self-expression. And really what all this boils down to is loss of freedom. You are not a free man if you're letting that inner bitch control the, the thoughts and the day and the actions, you're not fucking free. And, and here's a, I'm sure you've heard this, uh, this analogy or this example before, but you, you, the way you talk to yourself in your head as a man, the stupid fucking shit you tell yourself, you're, you're a loser, you're fat, you're never going to make it, you can't make enough money, you don't have, you're not, you're not worth it, you're never, this, this will never succeed. If you had a close friend or a brother or family member, even a fucking stranger was coming to you with similar thoughts or problems about themselves, you would never talk to them that way. You would have that empathy and compassion and help and leadership and motivation to help them out, whatever, encouragement, a helping hand. But then to yourself, you talk down like you're just a piece of shit. And you would never talk that way to someone else. So why the fuck are you talking to yourself that way with, with this little inner bitch voice? This is where it exists all in your freaking head. This is where all your insecurities and, and that you hide and hide out from live. This is that neediness that, that, that you can't control. The bullshit stories you tell yourself in your head. The self-judgments that you have that are way off base. And we have to, we have to acknowledge and kind of break down who this inner bitch is before we talk about, all right, here's how to overcome it. And we're going to get to that. So stay tuned. This isn't just a beat down now. This is a breakdown to break through. We're going to break down this inner bitch so we can break through as the uh, savage servant that you are, are meant to be as a man. But first, we got to dig into who this inner bitch is. We got to break them down piece by freaking piece. And this is where you hide all that shit in your mind and in your head, that, that inner bitch ab- about yourself. And it's just out of control. You think you're in control, but it fucking controls you. These are all parts of your identity that, that you don't, you're, you're too afraid to even show or that exist. This is your freaking e- ego or your alter ego when it comes down to it. And this is what cause, causes these self-limiting beliefs. This is what caused you to go in and lash out on complete strangers on the internet that you know nothing about and put these stupid ass comments that you see grown men put every day on, on our content. This is what caused those self limiting beliefs. This is what caused them to think that $10,000 is like a million dollars because they have this inner bitch that's got, created this ceiling for them, caused them to self-sabotage and just be so self-destructive that if they go out and bash the rest of the world, it'll somehow make them feel better. But really all it's dig, doing is digging them into a deeper, darker shadow of a fucking hole these self-defeating way of operating. And what that does is prevents them from ever reaching any other level than this bullshit level that they're stuck at and and, and no realizations that they're ever going to have and really never finding out their full potential about who they are, what they're capable of, what they're really fucking made of as a man because the inner bitch, this inner critic is controlling the narrative. It's writing the story. It's writing the next chapter before it even fucking happens. And then we're told by society, toxic masculinity. A couple episodes ago, we talked about that, about toxic masculinity and all this other stuff. And men are told to be nice and tame and, and, and agreeable and vulnerable and show their feminine side and all this other bullshit. So they abandon their nature that they're meant to be as a man 
and then wonder why they're so miserable. Wonder why they feel like this little bitch boy or wonder why this bitch is, is rolling around driving the freaking car. And it, it could be caused by abuse or abandonment, rejection, whatever, it, bullying, embarrassment, whatever it is, whatever shit you didn't work through in process, usually back in the childhood. And we'll get to that in a second about kind of uncovering it and confronting that. But men have just been domesticated and we are meant to be savage servants, to be that controlled beast. And instead, we're lacking identity as men. Motherfuckers don't even know what bathrooms to use nowadays. I mean, where did we, where did we slip up? Where, how did this inner bitch take such control of the game that men have become so lost and unaware of who they are and what is their place in this world and even in their own homes and their own families? as a husband, as a father, as a leader. And this it's time to confront this inner bitch, to go look at this inner bitch, face him face to face, nose to nose, toes to toes, and have some real fucking deep conversations with this motherfucker. Time to confront this inner bitch. And facing that means facing your fear, facing your cowardice. Facing your envy and your jealousy, facing your laziness and your lack of discipline, your ignorance and insecurities, your greed, facing your vices, the shit that you, your selfishness, the over selfishness or over selflessness. There is a difference between those two. We, we don't need to get into all that right now, but that's what it means. Facing that opposite ends of the spectrum of selfish and selfless. This is where you start to discover who that bitch is and how to overcome it. And whenever it pops up, we're going to go into this, but we're going to get a little ahead of ourselves is asking yourself when this shit starts popping up, ask yourself, is this really me? Is this really the true me? And then is this thing even true? Is this thing useful or helpful to me in any way? Ask yourself, does this situation even fucking matter? Does this person matter that's involved in this situation? Does the outcome of this situation matter? These are questions you have to ask yourself whenever you feel that inner bitch creeping up. And we're going to go deeper into these questions in a little bit. But I always ask myself then, after all that, how can I flip this? The next stage of how can I flip this, meaning how can I have a different perspective or reframe it, is how can I weaponize this to use to my advantage and not let it drag me down, to actually use it to propel, to learn from, to teach, or use it as a coaching moment or a teaching lesson for my kids or clients, or learn from myself. And then the next step from that is, all right, how can I monetize this shit? I'm not only going to just flip it and weaponize it. I'm going to monetize this motherfucker. That's how you become bullshit bulletproof. Maybe that should be the name of this episode is bullshit bulletproof. But we're going to get back into those ways of overcoming this in a second. That was just a touch on it so you get a feel of where we're going with this. But we also want to go a little deeper, even deeper into that inner bitch. This is where your anger and rage is. Where you're, again, your limiting beliefs are and that self-defeating and destructive nature that you have where you fucking ruin everything the good that happens. That's what the inner bitch is causing. That fear and, and overwhelming anxiety. I don't mind some anxiety. I actually like a little anxiety. It keeps me on edge, keeps me sharp, keeps me focused, keeps me on my fucking A-game if you know how to control it and reel that shit in. But the inner bitch makes that anxiety out of control where you're just constantly worrying about what could this, what if this, what if that? What if the queen had balls? She'd be king, but she doesn't, so she's not, motherfucker. Enough with the what ifs. The inner bitch causes you to have shame and be embarrassed and humiliated because you might get rejected. You might fail. You might get turned down. You might get shut down. Who gives a fuck? You know how many times that shit's happened to me in my life and still does on a regular basis? The real place where the inner bitch destroys men, the inner bitch destroys men is in their purpose, in their potential, and in their power. That's really the places where it kicks a man in the fucking nuts, where your purpose, you have no sense or or of, of direction in your life or trajectory in your life as a man or the direction you're meant to go in as a man or what you're meant to contribute or build or create. Zero lack of purpose is what the inner bitch's main game is. And when we talk about the inner bitch, this is the opposition. This is your inner demons. This is the fucking devil. The devil on your doorstep 
Whenever you feel it creeping through, that is the enemy. That is the resistance. That is the opposition. That's the demons. That's the devil. That's the inner bitch coming to get you. Anytime you give a tiny little bit of leeway and ease up, it's going to come creeping, slipping through those cracks and zap away your purpose, zap away your potential and your power as a fucking man. Like your potential, uh, the inner bitch will to make you not even know what you're capable of or make you feel there's too big of a, a freaking gap of, of where you are and where you think you want and need and, and, and deserve to be as a man. And you'll never realize that potential because the inner bitch will keep pulling you and sucking you down because of the bullshit inner critic that you have in your head, those bullshit conversations, the lies, the stories that you're telling yourself in your freaking head which then pulls away from your fulfillment. Yeah, the purpose, the potential, and the power, but makes you an unfulfilled man. Zero freaking happiness in your life. You're just hiding out, hidden away, feeling you don't deserve shit, afraid you're going to fuck up again or going to fail again. You have zero boundaries, and everything walks. everyone walks all over you. Or you're on the other far end of the spectrum where you're just a massive fucking douchebag just talking nonsense on the internet. Yeah, we keep going back to that. That's where we're, the vibe we're on right now. So you have to start asking yourself, do you re- are you really ready to know yourself? Are you g- ready to do this deep, dark work? Because the men's work is in the motherfucking pain. The men's work is in that inner bitch. Your superpower is in that inner bitch. And we're going to show you. I'm going to tell you what that means here just in a second. But are you ready to face and confront this, this motherfucker? And confront the truth about who you are and who you want to become. Are you ready? Because this is what it's going to take. It takes asking yourself these tough questions. It takes having these tough conversations with yourself and maybe with other people. Because this, this inner bitch ain't going to eat let up ever. It will always be around. We can say we're going to kill the inner bitch. But I'll tell you what. We're not necessarily killing it. You might be suffocating it, gagging that motherfucker for a little while. But... You are not killing it. It will always keep coming back. That devil is always there. And you just need to have the power and discipline as a man to freaking overcome it. Because this is the part, again, of your personality where the insecurities and fear and resentments, think about like, look at those words, the dark impulses and, and where you're hiding out that just keep trying to pull you down into the pain and the suffering and the misery. It's a place where you hide everything. It's a place that just keeps bringing you back into the darkness, the deep, dark, sabotaged area. And you need to start facing this motherfucker. You need to start acknowledging your mistakes, your fuck-ups, your failures. If you have to work through any past traumas or whatever, if you need to go to the therapist, do what you got to do. There are ways you can, you might have even done that, but there are additional steps you can, you can take, and we're going to go into those. But you need to remove these dysfunctional freaking habits that you have and face this inner bitch face-to-face, once and for all. And every time he creeps back up, you're going to have to re-face him and re-battle him. Because this is what it's going to take. You have to, then, then once you start, start acknowledging that this is necessary and you understand who this motherfucker is, what its goal is, what it's about, it's time to start discovering it, like understanding it. Understand why it exists. Understand what created it and where it might be sucking your energy and sucking your life away and, and dragging you into chaos and mayhem and disorder and craziness. This is, the, the, the inner bitch is chaos. It's deteriorating of your manhood. It's the self-sabotage of your potential and your goals. And it's in there. It's always there creeping. You might be sleeping for a little while. You might have suffocated that motherfucker. You might have shut him up. But he's going to break free eventually. When you give him just that tiny little bit of doubt, that he will creep back up and out. So you need to learn to understand him, where he's come from, when he pops up, what's going to trigger him, what's going to allow him to pop up his head a little more. And you want to know how... Think about your inner bits. And there's, there was a, a previous workshop we did and even one of the the episodes we did on change your state, how to immediately change your state from bitch to beast. And we dive into the bitch character. We create an actually an avatar. We're not going to go into the whole thing. We'll go into a part of it right now because it kind of fits this, this conversation. We create an avatar of your, you at your worst, the worst version of yourself, your bitch version, the bitch version of you. And you ask yourself questions like, all right, me at my worst, what was life like? 
And we think, we go into how does he think? How does he talk? How does he act? What type of words does he use? How does his wife talk about him? What does his mother think about him? This is, again, you at some point in your life, at your worst, at your lowest point in the pits. How do his kids talk about him? What kind of work does he do for a living? How much money does he make? And then you create a, you think of a picture in your mind of an actual photo you have of you during that time frame at your worst. And the reason for this is because knowing this inner bitch and connecting with him and realizing who you were and you at your worst is sometimes the fuel and the fire you need to propel you forward. Not to drag you down. You think, no way, I will never go back to being that motherfucker. So we need to become so intimate with this inner bitch that you can use it as a weapon. You can weaponize the previous worst version of yourself. You can weaponize the inner bitch that's inside of you to use it to go forward and to propel yourself forward to make sure you never go back to that version of you, that leaky man little inner bitch. Because most men grow up uh, giving up their who they are, really. Giving up their who, who their authenticity, their personality, their character. They give it up because they think that's what it has to be. They, they almost repress their character as a man just to become this nice yes man and, and, and not rock the boat and not hurt any fucking feelings and just be tame and obedient and agreeable so that they're likable and predictable and nice. Or again, on the far end of the spectrum where it's just pure, straight, douchebaggery saying the most vulgar and vile shit on the internet like we've talked about in previous videos. We don't need to go into all that because that's not what it's about. But this cuts a man off from his truth, his potential, his self-respect, his manhood, his sense of a higher calling. This inner bitch will kill you and cut you off and decapitate your higher calling, decapitate your next level. That's what it will do. And you need to Learn to work through this and face off with this motherfucker, this truth about yourself that you've been ignoring and neglecting and hiding out from. Another, another saying, I don't know where it came from, but it goes something like personal growth isn't only about becoming. Personal growth is also a process of unbecoming. So unbecoming this bitch version of yourself. This dude who talks on the internet, talks crap, and wastes his time and gossips and all this other shit. Like, that is the bitch version. So there, I, I just found today this, this Instagram page that is completely dedicated to me, just talking shit and trying to make fun of me. And it's like, there were hours and hours put into this. It's actually following over a, like 100 people of that you wouldn't think someone would want to follow, like to kind of create that aura of that personality of this. Like someone put some time into this. There's all these Photoshop pictures and fake followers and fake likes and comments, all, bu- all bullshit, like hours of work. That is the work of a little bitch. That is the work of an inner bitch. That's someone that needs to really do this deep work, that needs these episodes of this show more than anyone because they need to unbecome that. Because doing that is doing nothing for their life, doing nothing for their resentment, nothing for their lack of results, nothing for their impact they're making, nothing for them being a better father, nothing nothing for making them make more income. And then they wonder why they think $10,000 is such a huge amount of money when you're spending half your day wasting your time and energy on stupid shit like that. And so personal Growth is not only about becoming, it's about a process of unbecoming, undoing shit, not going back to the way you were. Letting aspects, letting areas of your old bitch version freaking die away and and acting like it's a new 2.0 greater version of yourself emerging from the freaking ashes of the rubble of the explosion that you you burn down of that inner bitch's life and it's coming back rising up from the ashes or a, a new tree being planted that's just exploding into a solid freaking oak wood is oak wood even a solid tree i don't even know sounds good sounds cool but that's what that's what this is all about listen stop stop bitching and complaining Even to yourself, stop bitching and complaining. Shit could always be a lot worse. Years ago, 
I guarantee you years ago, you're bitching about shit the way things are and you're hating on people because they're more successful than you and you think you deserve more than them and all this other stuff and you're entitled to. First of all, you're not entitled to shit. You don't deserve shit. But I guarantee wherever you are in life, most likely, if you put in any amount of work and effort in, years ago, your goal, your out of the world, most impossible dream and goal was to be right the fuck where you are right now. And now you are where you are and you're bitching and complaining. Think about that. Your everyday life is what you never even imagined was possible. Now it's your everyday life and it's become familiar. Familiarity is, is, and it drags you down. Now it's time to stand overwatch over that life like a fucking sniper, like in a guard tower, protecting the life and the lifestyles that you created for you and your family and your people. That's how you start snapping out of this little inner bitch acidness, this complaining and blaming and making excuses. Talked about in previous episodes how it literally shrinks your brain when you complain blame other people, make excuses. It literally makes you dumber and shrinks your brain in the areas that are, are used for critical thinking and problem solving. Making excuses, complaining and blaming, and blaming other people or because they're all other easier solutions than working to figure shit out or a real effective solution. So your brain short wires itself and makes it actually smaller and fucking dumber to be more efficient so you just get used to blaming and complaining and be lazier and go the easier, efficient route for your brain. It reinforces it and it just force multiplies and makes you dumber and dumber and dumber and lazier and lazier and stupider and stupider and become this dumb, lazy, stupid motherfucker because you were blaming, complaining, pointing the finger, making excuses with zero freaking accountability and it's all from this little inner bitch that's trapped inside of you. Here's another thing. Once you realize that pain is permanent, once you know pain isn't going anywhere, then it doesn't freaking matter. It doesn't have any power over you, the fear and the doubt, which is all parts of pain. It no longer hurts or controls you once you realize it's going to be permanent. When other weak humans crumble under the pressure of pain, adversity, and suffering and hardship, you're right at fucking home. This is another day at the motherfucking office. You live and smile in the house of freaking pain. There is, a, there is a peace in the pain, there is discipline in the darkness, and there is superpower in the suffering. And this makes you bullshit bulletproof, unbeatable, impenetrable, makes you thrive under conditions that regular men crumble under. This is what makes you stand out and be bold and do shit that people think you're lying about. And then to take it to the next level, to keep yourself sharp and on that edge, weaponize that fear and anxiety. Create new hards for yourself. If, if what used to be hard is now normal and easy for you or now an everyday habit, it's no longer your hard. Make your previous hard your new normal and the new beginning, the new standard to create an even harder new, a new hard, a new impossible, a new enemy to go to battle with. Listen, if, if cold showers and meditation and ice baths and long bike rides and a long 10-mile run, if that's now normal for you, you do it regularly, that is not hard for you anymore. It's no longer mental toughness training. That is just maintenance. That's just staying maintained in that level that you're at. There's no more potential for growth with that. No more potential for development. Maybe you'll get slight improvements, but not the massive growth and transformation you're looking for when you do hard shit. So don't lie to yourself. Don't let that inner bitch lie to you and, con and continue to convince yourself that you're doing something freaking hard if you've already mastered and overcome that demon. Move on to the next new, bigger, badder, scarier, impossible freaking hard. Because back to that pain is permanent. Pain is also a powerful teacher. Misery, uh, this was from, I don't remember a book. Maybe purpose driven, purpose driven leader or purpose driven life, whatever it's called, it said. Mis they said it said something like, "Misery is your message, your message is your mission, and your mission is your ministry." So your mis misery is your message. Your message is your mission. Your mission is your ministry. And when this shit goes downhill and that little inner bitch tries to knock you off and pull you down from this higher calling, this purpose, this potential, this power, go back to those questions we started with in the beginning and say, is, is this me? Then ask yourself, is this freaking true? And is this information useful or helpful? Then the next level of that is, does this situation fucking matter? 
Does this person involved fucking matter? Does the actual outcome fucking matter either way? That's the next stage. And the final stage is, all right, how can I flip this? How can I weaponize this? And how can I freaking monetize this? That's what you need to, the way you need to break that down. And then, yeah, you could figure out where this inner bitch came from. But here's the thing. Whenever this inner bitch starts coming out, or let's say inner bitch or fear or doubt, procrastination or imposter syndrome, all those things just boil them up into the inner bitch. When that inner bitch starts coming out, don't, don't try and just kill it. Forget that. Don't try and just kill it. I want to understand that motherfucker. I want to learn from him because it's, he is usually pointing towards growth. He's usually giving me awareness of areas I need development or need some empathy or compassion or acknowledgement in or somewhere I need to train or practice. He's showing me the direction I need to fucking attack full force with all my effort, all my energy. That's what he's showing me. And I balance that out with daily practice of gratitude and victory on important what's important to me. That balances out so you don't go too far over the edge. But listen, this, this shit was installed in you probably at a, in your childhood. You can rewrite this fucking code in your DNA as a man. So don't kill it. Yeah, we say kill the inner bitch, but that just really means subdue that motherfucker like a hostage and interrogate that motherfucker. Take that little bitch, fucking zip tie him, and torture that motherfucker. Don't kill it. Learn to understand it. When was it created? Why was it created? What is it trying to tell you? Is it saying something true? Is it trying to warn you about something? Is it giving you some direction of what direction to go in? Or sometimes the, 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 the inner bitch is just being a little bitch and needs to be confronted and shut down and have his ass whooped. That's what it, it's a, the story. It's really the story of the underdog is overcoming that inner bitch. And use it both ways. Again, remember, use it both ways of use it sometimes thinking of it as a weapon because, yeah, I never want to go back to that. That's why, that's why we dig so deep into this inner bitch. What is he all about? What are you conditioned? What are the consequences of it? So you think, all right, shit, if I continue to be this inner bitch, this is what life is going to be like. I don't want that. I don't want to go back to that avatar that I created, that, that worst version of myself. I do not want to go back to that. So fuck that. I'm going to weaponize this inner bitch and use it as fuel. So again, is this me? Is this even fucking real? Is this just bullshit story I'm telling myself in the head? Is this useful to me in any way? How can I flip this? How can I reframe this? How can I weaponize this? And then shit, imagine this, being able to monetize it. There is bullshit bulletproof. There is how you overcome this inner bitch. There's how you start creating a new hard like we talked about. There's where you stop giving a shit what other people think about you that don't matter. There's where you embrace the fact that pain is permanent. All these things we're talking about. There's where you overcome the complaining and blaming that are shrinking your freaking brain and shrinking your potential. You stop bitching and complaining. There's where you kill that inner bitch and use that inner bitch as fuel in the soil to grow the man that you're meant to freaking be. So you stop with that bullshit. That's what this is all about. Undiscovering, uncovering and understanding and discovering this inner bitch so you can figure out how to dominate it, how to monetize it, how to weaponize it, how to confront this inner bitch so you can unleash that savage servant inner beast that you're meant to be. And that's what this is all about here on this episode. I think we kind of dug into it deep enough for you to be able to sink your teeth in and do some deep, dark work on your own. Again, again, men's work is in the pain. Like, keep that in mind. And this is the exact work we do in the Freak Father Alliance. It's a men's mentorship group coaching program where, where I help entrepreneur fathers and men to develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, and have more meaning so that they can attack their mission to create their ideal freak freedom lifestyle with time freedom for their families. That's what the Freak Father Alliance is about. And it's also like constantly about overcoming this inner bitch. 
and reframing it and unleashing the man you are meant to be and to become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, and an even better freaking man. That's what it's all about. So if you want information on the Freak Father Alliance, send me a message. I also want to hear about how does the inner bitch pop up in your life? Put it in the comments down below. And what do you do to overcome it on a regular basis? Let's dive into it. I will see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.